It is with incredibly great honor that I get to bring out these next VIPs. Please, everybody at home and in this building, give it up for the co-founders of EVO, Tom and Tony Cannon. Uh, thank you, Joe, for that introduction. Um, it's so incredible to be here uh, at EVO again. Um, uh, it's so nice to see all your faces. I've seen people come to this event for literally 20 years, and I see new faces every year. Uh, and this EVO is particularly special for Tony and I because, of course, you know, uh, we've taken a step back and, and led a new team carry on the legacy, and we're so proud of what they've done to put on the biggest EVO yet. So, uh, huge, warm congratulations to the EVO team. Show them your love, please. So we are delighted with the scale of this event and, and how um, it's become like a global family reunion for the FTC. But this is not possible without the work of so many tournament organizers, community organizers, uh, players who put their heart and soul into rallying players at the small scale. Uh, and we like to say support your locals. Uh, it's become a motto, but it's more than a motto. It's like a rallying cry. It's how this thing works. It's all of us working together. Uh, and we, in years back, uh, had uh, an award uh, that we would present to the unsung heroes who were working behind the scenes to get it done. Um, we called it the Cannon Award. Um, and we put it down for a few years. This year, we decided to bring it back. And so, uh, it's uh, Tony and uh, my honor to present this year two awards. Uh, so please bear with us. It's going to take you know, a few minutes, but we really want to make sure that we recognize uh, these people who have given their, given their all uh, to bring all of this uh, for all of us. So Tony, why don't you take it away? Yeah, yeah. I'm so happy to be the first presenter of the Canon Award in so many years. Um, this is a, a really a great story. It's a story about perseverance. It's a story about grit and determination and, and putting the community above all else. Uh, and really about like support the games you love, support your locals, right? Uh, you may know there are over 40 medal events at EVO this year, right? There, there's the nine big ones, right, of course, but then there's all these events in the BYOC, right? Um, that are run by the community for the community. And the passion you see there is no less than the passion you see for the main games on stage. Uh, for the longest time, uh, a staple game in the community center has been Marvel vs. Capcom, right? I am happy to say that Marvel vs. Capcom will not be in the community center this year. It won't even be on the main stage this Friday, right? Because you people supported that game so well that Marvel vs. Capcom will be in the arena Sunday morning, like opening the show, right? It's amazing. Right? This is an old game that was supported by the community, that was brought back to life by the spirit of the community, and uh, no one worked harder to make that happen than our first recipient of the Cannon Award. Um, he started off running his own local events in Tampa in 2009, which uh, grew and has more recently transitioned to an online event, um, which is sort of a, a hybrid mix of YouTube and Twitch um, and uh, exhibition events and tournament events. And he's worked tirelessly behind the scenes at practically every major you've ever heard of. He's been on the staff of CEO for a long time. He's working the event at EVO today, right? Uh, I was just watching an exhibition event he ran last week for Marvel Online. I'm like, man, you've got a, on a show to prepare for, and he's just, I don't know how the man has time to sleep, honestly. I just don't know how he does it. Um, and so I am very happy to award the first Canon Award in quite some time uh, to Tong Lee, Tampa Never Sleeps.
I mean, you can see it. I mean, that's the passion, right? That's what keeps, that's what keeps it going for all of us. Thank you, Ton, for everything you do. So we're gonna keep it rolling. Uh, our second award is gonna go to someone uh, who has uh, really stepped up. Organizing tournaments uh, when his local scene lost their local and the scene could have died, but he kept it alive. Uh, he's been at it for a while and grown his scene from a struggling local to one of the major tournaments every year. Uh, he, he didn't stop there. He's helped organize fighting game tournaments across lots of organizations, not just his own. Uh, he, He's a bright, colorful figure, but you always know that his heart is in the right place and he's always fighting for players and for the games that he loves. Uh, I think the, the greatest thing I can say about this person is that uh, the people in his organization have gone on to do their own great things uh, and started their own events, and that's the mark of a really great leader. And so uh, it's my pleasure to announce the second Canon Award for this year to the man whose name is a verb, Alex Jabaley. Give it up for Alex. Yeah, so thank you all very much. Thank you all for, for coming here and supporting us for so many years. If it's your first Evo or if it's your, your 23rd Evo, like it really means a lot um, to all of us. Um, when I reflect back, um, I, I'm gonna get a little nostalgic and I'll try to hold it together. Um, like we, we have come so far with all of your support and the support of people who run locals and people who run majors. Um, and a few years ago, we were looking back and sort of reflecting on where's the event been and where can it go? And what does it mean for people and what can it mean for people? Um, and I, I was talking to some people, trying to figure out how to bring it back. And I had a really great conversation with a good friend of mine um, and who just had this vision and he's always had vision about a community is not about a fiberboard cabinet that you play on in the arcade. It's not even about the competition here, although that's a major part of it. It's about how we show up for each other and the cultural ties that binds us, right? Our, our commitment, you know, and how it reflects in the clothes that we wear and the shoes that we will put on and the music that we love. And, you know, it's a community that makes a community and, and no one has done that better ever than uh, the, my friend. Um, he, he runs one of the most beloved majors ever. Every year, people go and say, this is my favorite event. And he runs it with a level of integrity and passion and empathy that is unheard of in my experience. He, he understands that as a community, if we're going to win, we win together. And that stands for TO standing up for TOs. It's for players sticking up for players. And uh, it was a really great chat. We chatted for, for over an hour. Um, and uh, this guy's not afraid to speak truth to power either. A lot of people can be intimidated by the, the mystique, but he was like, you know, we've made some mistakes. And uh, like, I think it was a real big mistake for you guys to retire the Canon Award. Because when he was coming out, he saw that as an aspiration. He's like, yes, I'm down for the community, and that's something I could strive for. Even if I never reach that mountain, it's inspiring for me. And I never thought of it that way, and I recognize it. Um, 
and that's why we brought it back. Um, he went on to say, and I'm really disappointed because I know that I can never win that award now. Um, this was a conversation we had uh, when we were transitioning the organization from Tom and I to um, our honorary third Canon Award member of uh, awarding to, to Rick Thyler. Bahado, everyone. Give it up for Rick. One of a kind. That's it. We'll see you next year. On with the show. Thank you, everyone. Take care, y'all. One more time, please. Let's give it for everyone that just won a Canada. Would everybody give it up? Let's make some noise. Let me hear it. <laughs>